Hello. This one's continuing on the idea of understanding the engagement level of your workforce and then working to improve it uh, in order to get better performance out of your team and then also reduce, reduce turnover. So in the last one, we looked at the overall score uh, amongst all your different departments for an employee survey. What we're going to do now is we're going to compare and dive into each individual department uh, to try to understand that um, although your overall score might tell you something, when you break it down by department, you might find some things that are even more uh, interesting. Uh, so that's what we'll do here using this Tableau dashboard. All right, here's our Tableau dashboard. Let me help you get oriented with what you're looking at. Uh, first, across the top, we're seeing some basic statistics by category um, and by department. Um, so in this case, we broke our business down into four different departments. We have admin, production, sales and marketing, and service. Uh, service would be the people who take care of our customers. We see the number of participants with each, within each category. We see what the average score was, and then we see how that changed from our previous survey. You might have heard on the last video, but uh, for the scoring, how that works is we're asking people a, a series of statements, and we're asking them to give their response to that statement. They, on the good side, they can show strongly agree. On the negative side, they can be strongly disagree. A strongly agree scores a five, disagree scores a one, and then everything in between would be the two, three, and the four. Uh, what we're doing here is we're plotting each of these categories and the responses for each department. So you can see here's like the admin section, the production section, sales and marketing, and service. Uh, what we're looking here is for um, if everybody felt really strongly and good about everything, we would show dark blue across the board. Um, and in some cases, we do see a fair amount of dark blue. That's good. In other cases, we see some of this orange and yellow color. Uh, we'll come back and dive into those in a second. Next up, we're looking at a trend. Uh, so this is showing for each, each department. So let's start with admin. Uh, we're looking at what this most recent survey score was, in this case, 2.7, how that compares to the previous survey and then compares to two surveys ago. Uh, so we can see how each department stacks up against each other and then how they've been trending overall. And finally, down at the bottom, we're looking at the, um, we're seeing the results by each individual question. So just kind of walking through how to read this one. The first or statement was, I am regularly able to do what I do best at work. Uh, now we're going to see admin scored at 2.4, production 3.7, et cetera, going across to see a 3.3 overall. And as you probably picked up there, um, hovering over these, we would see what the trend has been. So in this case, for admin, uh, the most recent survey scored a 2.4. The one previous to that was a 2.2. And then two surveys ago, we also scored a 2.4. So um, even though we dip down in the middle, we, we basically stay flat with where we were a year ago. Okay, so let, now that you know how to read this, let's walk through a few takeaways. Um, one thing that's interesting is we do, we can pick up a few different areas and see that we do have a bit of a score difference by department. Um, so just looking here, we see production is our highest scoring department and admin is our lowest. We're almost a full point difference. Uh, between those two. So that's something we should dive into some more. So let's look at admin. So when we're looking at admin by category, um, we can see that all of these uh, different, uh, different question categories score lower than their counterparts in other departments. So that's something that's interesting for us to look at. I guess as we're thinking through this, one good thing is there's not too much of this strongly disagree. I guess there's some in this category. But some of these other people are more at just the disagree, figuring that if we take some action, it's probably easier to move somebody that just disagrees up to the agree side versus trying to change the mind of somebody who strongly disagrees. In some of these other areas, even though the overall scores are higher, we do see some more in the strongly disagree. So again, those might be people that are going to be a little bit more difficult to move up. Um, all of our trending in this sample data source is about the same. So we we dipped down last survey and now we're up a little bit. 
uh, everybody moves at a little bit different rate though, which is what we're seeing there. And again, like we already picked up, admin on in general for the last three surveys has scored lower uh, than all the other departments. So it's something for us to continue to keep an eye on that admin group. And then now that we're looking at each individual category, uh, we can really pick out some areas uh, that admin is, is struggling with. So let's do that and just kind of talk through, brainstorm what's going good and what's not. Um, so we saw this, uh, for example, walking through this day-to-day -day job section. So they scored a 2.6 overall in admin. Um, and we can see that this one down here, my job provides me with the right amount of challenge. So that's interesting. That's actually the lowest score across all of our business in any category, any question. So that feels like, um, I guess we could take that two different ways. We'd have to ask our employees a little bit more how they felt about this. Either the challenge is too difficult um, and it's too hard for them, or they're not being challenged enough and maybe they're bored at work. Um, so this would be good where we can tell them that we looked at the results, we found some insights, and now we, we need to dive a little bit deeper so we know how we can be different as a leadership team in order to provide our people with the right amount of challenge. Another one we can look at, um, let's just pick out this one down here at the bottom. So this one's scoring a 2.3. So this is, we have the best people in our team to reach our goals. Um, so this score, as we can see from the trend, has dropped a little bit from a year ago or dropped pretty significantly and hasn't changed from last quarter. Um, so it sounds like they don't feel like we're quite staffed right in order to uh, meet our goals. Uh, so this again would be good to try to dive in a little bit more, um, of course, in the spirit of continuous improvement and constructive feedback and have them explain to us uh, how we can do a little bit different on our team in order to reach our goals. So those are just a few examples of how you can use this information in order to find areas that are not going well. Another good approach might be, um, for example, let's just go back to this last one we looked at, uh, would be to, to survey the people in the production area. So they score a 3.5, considerably higher than the admin area, and ask them some questions on, well, why, why do we think we do pretty well in this area? And we'll start to get some ideas of maybe things that we can then take over to the admin department and do things different there to improve their score in the future. So I think what's nice about this dashboard is we're able to take a lot of data. Uh, we're taking, you know, 50 something responses and 20 questions. Um, and instead of trying to look at that on a big spreadsheet where it'd be difficult to get any, any takeaways, by just spending a minute or two on this dashboard, we were able to identify a few important insights um, and then figure out how we might be able to action them. All right, so that was our look at the employee survey by department. Just to sum up what we looked at, we saw some overall scores for each of our different departments. Uh, we were able to find that one of our departments, the admin group, was scoring a little bit lower than the other, so we focused in on them. And then we found a few questions that they scored especially bad on, and we saw what the trending over time was for those. And then we were also able to identify another department that scored better. So now we have some actions that we can go do. Uh, we can pinpoint with our employees and ask them some pointed questions about how we can get better. And then we can also ask one of the departments that's doing good. And we can ask, well, you scored pretty good in this area. Why is that? And then take some of those learnings and then put them towards one of the departments that didn't score quite as good. So I hope that was an interesting and useful look at how you can use a Tableau dashboard in order to distill the results of a, a survey and dive into each department. If you have any questions on this or would like to see some of your own information plugged into a dashboard like this or help setting up a survey uh, that then would connect, uh, please reach out to me. My email is jeremy at centralcoast-analytics.com. Again, that email is jeremy at centralcoast-analytics.com. Thanks for your time. Have a great day.